about letting your children's school dole out the discipline and punishment, especially if it involved your children getting the paddle. A Texas school district just approved a new policy allowing corporal punishment for students that misbehave. Now, the policy states that the corporal punishment must be done by a campus behavior coordinator or principal. Parents will need to provide written and verbal consent for their child to receive the paddling. You know, th this is, I guess there are 15 states. Texas is one of them that allow corporal punishment. And eight, eight more have no laws against it, so really up to 23. Now, I'm curious from a legal perspective, be, before we get into whether or not you believe yeah, it personally right. or not, if a parent gives consent, does that basically say legally they can? Well, no. And, and first of all, I would hope that parents don't give consent to a school to use corporal punishment because if something goes wrong in that interaction, you have essentially given away your rights to pursue legal action or you've made it more difficult for you to pursue any kind of legal action. And there's so many other positive ways that you can change behavior. And I say this not just as a lawyer, but as a mother who've had three kids that I've had to discipline using positive you know, reinforcement, uh, alternatives, timeouts to, you know, denying your kids, you know, opportunities to go to movies and games and play with their friends. There's so many other things. And there are no studies, however, that show a positive correlation between spanking and positive behavior. For sure. And American uh, Society of, of Pediatricians has a clear position on that, that they don't believe in spanking. And my guess is, I don't know, the, the, the parents that are giving their consent were probably spanked as kids well, so too. I was going to and you, say pro that. And you perpetuate violence, that vicious cycle. If you cycle. are spanked as a child, you're statistically much more likely to spank your own children. And like you said, there's so many negative impacts down the line in terms of aggressiveness, violent behavior, mental problems. But I was but, astounded but, for this story because the number is 160,000 kids per year receive corporal punishment in the U.S. In, in public schools. So that's not even including private schools, parochial schools, where other forms of discipline Where the nuns occur. are whacking you. Yeah, no, but so I'm going to say this. That's a large number when you think yeah. about how violent our society has become. Mm -hmm. And as a mom, I completely sympathize with you because kids don't listen sometimes. So, but do, and just to throw out it, why I think that this does happen and why parents want this, having a paddle present doesn't always imply violence. I grew up with a paddle in the house. It was different. And, and I got to tell you, it was a heck of a deterrent for me because I was a, a hellion as a, as a little kid. <laughs> And some of the things I did, I'm ashamed of. And I feel bad that I put my parents through that. I really do. The beating of children, which I'm so sensitive to as an ER doctor, it's heartbreaking. If someone knows how to parent, they do it the right way, and they never invoke violence. And, and I don't ever jump to the conclusion that, OK, well, if a parent signs off on this, that they're a bad parent. No, it does, it, no, I think they're not bad just parents. Have to, we have to acknowledge that people are going to raise their kids differently. Violence never works. I will say as parents, we all use threat sometimes with our children. But, but like you said, it's the threat. It's the deterrent. You should never be beating them to never, the point. Never. And, and well, them never. Beating, but not like you should never, you should never you physically harm yourself, a child. Yeah. But you could find yourself getting a knock on the door from Child Protective Services, even if you haven't beaten your kid in, in the way I think yep. we're using the word beat. So parents just need to be really aware yeah, that in point. this society today, uh, teachers and other mandatory reporters, doctors are hypersensitive. And if a child reports that they've been hit by their parent, you could find yourself getting a knock on the door from Child Protective Services. Very good point.